how to take an old 36 volt boring golf cart and turn it into something fun that's fun to take off road in the sand dunes and uh, you could do wheelies with it all kinds of stuff uh, let me show you how i do how i do it in this video so the first step i'll just overview it real quick get rid of those old lead weights and take them to the scrap yard this cart, this battery right here weighs probably 40 pounds. I could easily pick it up and uh, lift it over my head and do reps, hundreds of reps. It's light. So get rid of that. That makes a big difference with an electric vehicle. The next one is make it high voltage. I know motor, these motors are 36 volt. Ignore that. Take everything that you thought about those 36 volt motors and throw it in the trash and try and blow one up, I dare you. It's a lot harder for short periods of time to blow up one of these DC motors when you only have 40 pounds of batteries in them. The next one is get one of these high voltage controllers. So these can go up to 200 volt. Right now I have a 72 volt pack, which is 20, 20 of these lithium cells in series and two in parallel. This and this uh, this high voltage controller, you kind of get them. I'll show you where to get them on eBay. You click on the link in the description. You can get them on eBay, and uh, it's kind of mounted to this aluminum this aluminum box that I just had in the shed uh, for cooling. And when you're driving through the sand dunes, it needs to be cooled. Uh, it, it was getting hot. The next uh, next thing is hooked them all together. So uh, we got ourselves a BMS. This has a Bluetooth um, module on it, so I can watch what this BMS is doing. I could see the current I'm drawing through it. I could see what the voltage is. It balances my cells. Um, in fact, I actually have a couple weak cells in this pack, but um, I'll show you kind of how I hook everything up and how I go over everything. Um, and I just unplugged my charger. But um, in a nutshell, that's what it is. Get one of these 50 amp breakers. This will save you in case you short something. Um, and it will trip. In fact, this 50 amp uh, breaker will trip before my 200 amp BMS will. So um, do yourself a favor and get one of these. Uh, in a nutshell, that's kind of what it all is. Then you just hook it together and um, get yourself a cheap Chinese pedal for these controllers. Um, you, you may be able to use your existing uh, easy go pedal, but I wouldn't count on it. All right, we are hooking up a 20S lithium battery with a 20S BMS. This is a uh, 100 amp continuous 200 amp peak and it can be a little confusing. So these come from battery hookup and the schematic only shows you a 10S, um, but if you kind of understand that, then it's pretty under, easy to understand this. So when I plug when I plug this one in, it will go this way. So you'll see uh, we got a, a red on this far side here. And then when it's plugged in right next to this one, you'll have a black on the far side here. So that's the main that's the main main negative and that's the main positive so you're going to basically hook the lead to the main positive and your main negative and you can see on our cells here on our cell holders the the red is sorry the yellow is positive the black um, is negative so this would be our main negative lead this would be our main positive lead so then we kind of just work our way through this systematically um and so we hook uh to the, to the red one, we'll hook to the main positive, and then we'll just systematically go down the series connections one by one. So you'll see the next one here goes to the next cell right there, and then the next series connection will be up here, and then the next series connection will be down there, and so, you know, so on and so forth, and you work your way all the way down, and um, you end up uh, a good way to kind of check and make sure is um, from that positive uh, all the way to where you got one here it's going to be a, a negative uh, readout so you'll get 
um, voltage, we should get half of the 20S pack if we read across here. Not sure this is all that necessary to confirm, but um, we're gonna do it just just cause. So you can see we got 36 volts here and we're our pack right now is at 72 volts so there we are and we're just going to keep going with this with this lead and then we'll plug them all in um, and we should be able to plug in our programmer our bluetooth module and see what the the, the bms is doing okay so we're hooking up our next um rat's nest here what we'll end up doing, just to make sure everything lines up right and all the sun, moon, and stars line up, since we worked our way from the positive over, we will work our way backwards from the negative that way. And if uh, everything is done correctly, you know, and we didn't skip a cell by accident or something, then there should be no overlap, you know. So when we get to the, when we get to this red wire here, then it should um it should if i'm not mistaken it sh it'll probably land on the same one this black is black one is on but maybe not it might it might land down here so uh on the series connection under here but we'll, we'll see kind of where it lands all right so we got it all hooked up plugged it in and we're going to plug in the bms here to Sorry, the Bluetooth module here to... I'm pretty sure it'll work without hooking the negative up to the main. It could be wrong though. Long story short, I was wrong. You do need to connect the main negative from the BMS up to the main negative. And then it reads, as you can see, the voltage from those first cells there. Did you had to connect the battery minus um so makes sense but i just kind of assumed it would uh, pull all the power it needed from those but not the case so now we'll just uh this will be our output and our input um from because we'll hook our, our solar here so when the over voltage kicks in from charging it with the uh, solar panels it'll kill the charging uh, but it'll still be able to discharge i'm not sure how it does that but must have a uh, diodes and it goes in one way or out the other <clears throat> so um and then our discharge will also come from here so um that's kind of how this how these work these probes uh i can stick them into the cells further to get a, a true pack voltage but to me uh it's just not been worth it to even mess around with that uh, i guess when the air is 32 degrees at this point these these things won't charge so i'm okay with that for now it doesn't get that cold here okay so there's here's my uh setup two series to panels together we got uh, 125 volts uh, from here to here i just got to plug this uh, positive lead into the positive side of the battery and we'll look take a look at what the bms is doing when i do that all right so that's what we were charging whopping 50 watts but uh as you can see why we were charging at 50 watts with two panels. So um, she's working and we're charging it. All right, well, we got it all in, tied in. Um, and we're just gonna turn it on, drive it around and uh, give us a, a readout while we drive around uh, of what what's going on with the BMS, so. All right, here we go. We're gonna go for a ride, fire up our BMS. Sometimes I go back Why and then come back in.
have a baboon story. Evan, we're gonna go up this almost vertical hill. See what we draw out of our uh, BMS recording, real quick. One, two, three, go! We're gonna try to crawl up it slow. Oh yeah, there's a piece of cake. Now really fast. I don't want to go up it too fast because Noah's back there. Like it in here, huh, Lincoln? Whoa! I You did. Yeah, this would be fun if you found a good buggy over here. That's funny, man. A lot of fun stuff. That looks like you're gonna get stuck over there. All right, so here's a screenshot of uh, the max uh, peak current and the max power that we draw drew from um, our our driving session, and you could see we drew 14 kilowatts, and the max discharge was 202 amps. Uh, so I just figured I'd share that with you guys. I know I like to kind of experiment with these things and build them and push things to their limits, but to be honest, I've not blown up a motor yet. Uh, so if you're worried about blowing up motors, then just don't put big batteries in them and I think you'll be okay.